So let's talk about Tylenol. I'm literally out here in the garden, but uh, the timing is what it is. So why is Tylenol associated with autism? First, if you don't know me, my name is Dr. Christina Parks. I have a PhD in cellular and molecular biology from University of Michigan that was done in the Department of Immunology. And I have been studying the childhood schedule and injections for about 10 years hardcore now. So Tylenol is associated with autism because it depletes the body's major antioxidant, glutathione. Glutathione is what mops up inflammation in the body. And when the body is critically depleted of it, it either goes septic or especially in young or premature infants, they can actually pass away. It can cause things like SIDS. So the maintenance of glutathione is extremely important. And even doing something like mom taking vitamin C as a supplement while she's nursing can be critical in helping mom and the baby to resupply glutathione. So what happens is if your body doesn't have enough glutathione, it gets extremely inflamed and it, uh, it just can't handle cellular stress. And the inflamed state of the brain is what is highly associated with neurological disorders such as autism or ADHD. Now that said, glutathione is extremely depleted when children get injections, when your immune system is hyperactivated. So we know this even in pregnant mothers, if their immune system is hyperactivated, it could be by an injection or it could just be by um, a, a very severe infection, like something like appendicitis, is going to cause a lot of inflammation and deplete glutathione. So it isn't just Tylenol that is gonna deplete glutathione, it is any form of acute immune activation, which is going to include all of these injections on the childhood schedule. So make no mistake, this immune activation is gonna deplete glutathione. And if you combine an immune activation, like a well child visit with Tylenol, it is a double whammy, completely depleting that child's glutathione supplies and really making it very likely that the, the um, body is not going to be able to fend off um, brain inflammation. And so many, uh, we know that many in injections are associated with encephalitis. So most of the time the body can, um, that just means an inflammation of the brain. We know most of the time the body can get ahead of that and uh, use intracellular things like glutathione to reduce inflammation. But if the body doesn't have those stores, that brain inflammation is gonna rage on and it is going to continually deplete the body's system of things like vitamin D, vitamin A, and zinc and glutathione and eventually the child's body just can't handle it anymore and some children may actually pass away others are going to develop all kinds of problems including uh, things like autism so i hope this helps you understand why tylenol and other things immune activation are associated with brain inflammation which is one of the root causes or the causal factors in in developing um, symptoms of the spectrum Peace. And if